What's up guys, it's Megan. I hope you're having a magical day. Today is a very, very long awaited video, mostly for me because I have been collecting many of these things to show off at some point for quite a long time. So uh, today is going to be a very <laughs> large collective Disney haul from several months. So if you are interested in seeing what I got, um, please, please stay tuned and let's hop into the video. So I'm pretty sure much of this is from April, May-ish on. So it does include some pins, some plushes, um, some Halloween items. So that's very exciting for me. And I think I'm just gonna start off with the pins mostly because I just have them right here and then we'll get into the plushes. So the first things that I got here were the these two boxes of Star Wars mystery pins. Um, these are from The Last Jedi and I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who's gonna say that they really loved The Last Jedi because I really did. It is my favorite movie in the, in the new trilogy. Um, dare I say one of my favorite movies movies of all time from Star Wars. So um, I got these two boxes. I still haven't opened them, so we're gonna do it in another video. I'm also waiting on two boxes of Hocus Pocus pins. So I'm not obviously gonna include those in here, and then um, we'll open those in another video. I'll also show, I got another shirt, um, so that's the first item. These are the pins that you can get in here. Um, obviously, let me look. I would really be happy with any of these pins, but I love BB-8, I love Chewy, um, I like Ray. Poe, you know, any of them really. So um, there are four pins that I'm gonna be getting, um, two, in each, two in each box. So I will be doing that in another video, like I said. Um, the next pin is, um, or I'll do these next two sort of together. Um, many of you guys know that I was a graduate of the class of 2020 and uh, I finished my master's degree, which is super exciting. So I, of course, wanted to get some of the graduation items especially since this is such a unique year uh, to be graduating and um, I didn't have a commencement ceremony. Um, so I am very excited to have these sort of as a commemorative gift for myself. Um, so this first one is the limited edition. I believe it was 3000, but I could double check, um, which it's crazy. It sold out like almost immediately, but it is this key of, um, like a little tassel and graduation cap and your diploma and you know this this comes down and then it says the key is to dream big 2020 so um that obviously was very important to me to get and um, i'm glad that i was able to get my hands on it because i know so many people weren't able to um mostly because the pin releases have been crazy on shop disney so um, I'm very excited to have gotten that. And then, which just came in, this next pin just came in uh, last week and I've been waiting three months for it. So I've been super excited to get it. Um, this is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland, which is why it took so long to get. Um, but this is the graduation 2020 pin and um, it's got Mickey and Minnie on there. And I really loved this design. So you could see that the cap moves around like that. And um, I know they had a few other ones with like Chip and Dale on there, but um, I had to get the classic Mickey and Minnie. So those were my two graduation pins, and then you'll see two other items in a little bit, but those are my two graduation pins. I was super excited about them. Um, the next pin that I have here is this limited edition Black Spire Outpost pin. I haven't been collecting the series of this, but also sorry that my lighting's going in and so, out. I haven't been collecting the whole series of this, but I did want to get free shipping one day, and I was like, eh, I will just have to go and get this pin. So um, this is with the Stormtroopers, and I love the Stormtroopers. You guys have to know that I am definitely someone that would go to the dark side. I even have my LBV uh, Join the Empire shirt on today, coincidentally. Um, I almost got the new Kylo Ren pins as well, but I'm trying to really rein in my spending. So um, to know that I got these things over the last several months makes me feel a little bit better, but still like knowing that I bought all this stuff during quarantine is not good. Um, so this is one of the new pins that I got as well. 
And then you guys know that I am a huge Halloween Nightmare Before Christmas uh, pin collector. So um, I'm super bummed I missed out on the I Collect Nightmare Before Christmas pin. Um, so if anyone ever wants to trade something for that, you gotta let me know um, because I really wanted it, but I missed out on it. Uh, like I said, all these pin releases on Shop Disney have been crazy, but I was able to get the Oogie Boogie cereal box when so it says start your day the Disney way guaranteed fresh. Um, it's got Oogie Boogie here and I really love this pin. It's got the dangling dice down there and I know a lot of people are saying that their dice are missing but um, this pin also opens up. You see the cereal there and then it says which pair of Oogie's dice match and it's kind of like a game in there. So you got little dice and then cereal and I just really like this pin. I think it's really cute. And once again, I'm not collecting this series. I'm trying really hard not to collect series right now, um, mostly because I know that it's a lot of money to collect series, but I'm just trying to collect the pins that I absolutely love and want. So um, you know that I gotta have this Oogie Boogie pin. On here it says Fright Frightfully Yum, and then Surprise Inside Box, 10, 13, 93. Um, so that's really exciting, and I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. Another pin that I got is this 2020 Halloween Tricks and Treats pin um, of Mickey and Minnie. And I know that this has been going in and out of being sold out. Um, so I was very happy to have gotten this one. I knew that I was gonna get it. Um, so I, once again, trying to get free shipping. I hate paying for shipping. I don't know if anyone else feels that, but we got uh, Mickey and Minnie here. I really love the art of these pins this year and all of the Halloween stuff and the plushes. I just think it's the coolest, cutest art. Um, I really wish that I could get more Halloween stuff, but once again, trying to reel in the spending. That was really bad at doing fishing. I've only been fishing once, so. Um, I really love this pin. I love the backing card. It's got so many cute little treats. And um, once again, this is a limited release pin, but it's been, these have been selling out. The limited release pins have been selling out. So that is crazy. Another Halloween item that I picked up was this new spirit jersey. When I saw this come out, this design, like it is the cutest thing ever. Um, this whole print is so stinking adorable. And then on the back, it says boo and it glows in the dark because I had it actually out one day and I turned off my lights and it was glowing and I was like, oh my gosh, it glows in the dark. But uh, I absolutely had to have this. I am a huge Halloween fan, like I said, but I have been loving the holiday spirit jerseys and I know that they're so expensive. I really want to do a DIY one of uh, other characters that I like, but this print was so cute. And I just found the perfect fabric to match. I made a pair of ears to match my my Disneyland Christmas one from last year. So I'm hoping that someone makes a uh, fabric of this print and then I could have matching ears because it's so adorable. And once again, the back is just so cute. I cannot handle how cute this is. Like the exclamation point being like a little candy. It's so adorable. The next thing I got is this Winnie the Pooh plush bag. It is like a crossbody bag. It is so adorable once again. I know a lot of people have seen me wear this before because I've had it, like I said, for a while. Um, this whole part is so fluffy and so soft. And then the inside of the bag has the Winnie the Pooh characters in there. So I just love it. It's from Oh My Disney. It's got this like rainbow um, strap and then it's got this little honey pot here um, as like a little keychain and it's just so cute and I love it so much. You can almost use it as like a little snuggle buddy. Um, but I have worn it before and it's so awesome. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more stuff like that I could put in here or like Pooh's nose was a pocket. Like I wish that they had more pockets, but it's just the one big pocket and, but it's flat and it's super comfortable and I love it and it's so adorable. And for anyone that's a Winnie the Pooh fan, you gotta, you gotta have it. Now we move on to some plushes because I have a problem. I'm an adult and I'm buying stuffed animals. Anyway, <laughs> these two were really important to me. Um, like I said, I was a graduate of the class of 2020 and um, my parents actually gave these to me as a gift. So my parents couldn't choose between the Stitch and the Minnie Mouse one, so they got both. Um, so I got the mini little graduate here. 
And then I also got the Stitch one. Um, I am so blessed to have such incredible parents to think of me and um, think about my graduation and, and help support me through those years. Um, I was in college for seven years, seven years. So um, yeah, it's very nice to be done and um, they got their little diplomas kind of like me and I love them. They are so cute and they sit with my uh, diploma. So yeah, it's really exciting to have these and I'm very lucky to have gotten them. So, <laughs> So I end up getting two of these Yoda plushes that are from, you could see on his foot, the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. And you guys could see how big this plush is. It's 17 inches, which is what I saw on the Disney website. Anyway, I was like, oh, you know, this is kind of cute. But then I saw that this was on sale for two dollars and like 76 cents or something crazy like that. And this plush was $45 and I'm like why is this on sale for $2 and 50 cents like with my um my visa card discount or you also could get a discount as a um a d23 member but I was like oh my gosh with my discount where you get 10 an extra 10% off you get this guy a $45 plush for like $2 and 50 cents which is crazy so I actually got one for me and one for one of my friends um who absolutely loves Star Wars as well. And so he's just so soft. And to get a anniversary plush like this for $2 from Disney, I'm pretty sure it's like the cheapest thing I've ever gotten from Disney. And then like two days later, I saw him back on Shop Disney and he was like $30. So I couldn't understand. Sometimes I think it's a glitch. I don't know. But I ended up getting two of them, um, one as a gift. And I was so excited. They are limited edition or special edition plushes. I just thought that was crazy. So um, we got Mr. Yoda here and he's got so many details and he's so soft and once again on his foot, rawr. Um, so this is so cute and I just want to snuggle with him and uh, snuggle we will. And I'm not good at impressions. But I was so shocked to see that this was $2 and like 60 something cents. It was bananas crazy bananas final two items that I want to talk about today are actually one of them I'm wearing right now and then the other one I have on my chair but they are from a small shop on Etsy called Lake Buena Visitors um, they the, the shop is owned by Chris and Maria who are just some of the absolute nicest people and they have some of the most incredible design so this one like I said says join the Empire and it says enlist today if you guys are a Star Wars fan it's got so so many awesome details on there so i'm trying to model it a little bit but i'm not good at it um so this is one of the shirts that i had and then the other shirt that i had gotten is this winnie the pooh shirt which is tie-dye it is so so cute and i absolutely love it i've worn it several times already same with this shirt i've worn it several times they do not fade after they wash like this literally just got washed um and so good anyway like they are so cute and I know that this shirt is super popular right now but I I just love their shirts they are so incredibly talented and wonderful people and I just wanted to throw that in there as well because I had gotten two of their shirts and um, I just love them so so much so please go check out Lake Buena Visitors on Etsy we'll, uh, leave the link to their shop on Etsy in the description so, so many different styles so many different characters so many different movies for designs that um you will definitely find something that you like also i do want to say that um maria's man-eating wreath shirt um inspired the man-eating wreath ears that i made for her so i definitely am going to get that shirt as well to match the ears and uh yeah we need a scary teddy shirt now so i'm i'm just gonna wait <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite and I will see you all real soon. Bye.